Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good afternoon. In this video, I will explain about wind power plant. But before I explain about this power plant, let me introduce myself. My name is Sandy Adil Mufid. I came from State Polytechnic of Ujung Pandang, majoring electrical engineering. Okay, now we go to the core of our conversation. Wind power plants are power plants that use wind as an energy source to make electricity. This power plant system is alternative system because it uses natural fuel, namely wind. And we all know that the wind will never run out, different from other power plants. For example, a power plant that uses coal as an energy source, which will eventually run out. Wind in the air is used to rotate wind turbines that rotate in the opposite direction of the wind. This is the main component contained in the wind turbine. When the turbine rotates, then the generator contained in the wind turbine rotates to produce electricity. The more turns on the turbine, the more electricity will be generated. This electricity voltage is channeled through the electricity network cable so that it can be used by the public. The electricity produced can also be stored in batteries to meet daily needs. To build a wind power plant in some area, it requires a very large area because the windmills to be installed are approximately 30 units. For example, in the Sidrap region, which has 30 windmill units and can be produced up to 75 megawatts of electricity and is expected to be able flowing 7,000 customers in the South Sulawesi region. Beside that, this power plant must also be built in areas that have high wind levels because if not, the windmills on this plant are difficult to rotate like that. According to what I read on the internet, only one wind power plant that operating in Indonesia, namely wind power plant in Sidrap Regency. But there will be three more uh, wind power plants which will be uh, operated next. Number one, namely PS2 wind power plant in Sidrap Regency. And number two, a wind power plant in Jeneponto Regency. And the last or number three, is a wind power plant in Tanah Laut Regency, South Kalimantan Province. According to what I read on the internet, only one wind power plant that operating in Indonesia, namely wind power plant in Sidrap Regency. But there will be three more uh, wind power plants which will be uh, operated next. Number one, namely PS2 wind power plant in Sidrap Regency. And number two, a wind power plant in Jeneponto Regency. And the last or number three is a wind power plant in Tanah Laut Regency, South Kalimantan Province. And the last part of this video is uh, that I want to give an uh, opinion about wind power plant in Indonesia. Indonesia has a large number of people which means there are many people who use electricity. I think our beloved country or Indonesia must build more of this wind power plant than power plant that use fuel that will run out like coal. The advantage of this power plant is that electricity generated by wind doesn't cause emission that can cause a jet rain 
or a greenhouse gases. And most importantly thing is, wind power plant can be built on water, on land, or on hills. And also Indonesia, that we can say, uh, has strong winds and is suitable for this wind power plant. Okay guys, uh, that's all. I apologize if there are a lot of mistakes when I speak. Hopefully, uh, what I say before can be useful and uh, delivered to others. Thank you for you watching. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good night. Afternoon tonight. Thank you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Apa yang bisa menjadi YouTuber? Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good afternoon. In this video, I will explain about wind power plant.